Nadine Ballard. Nadine, you have four unpaid parking tickets on your Toyota, and six years ago you owned a Buick. I did. Is that you? They owned yes. the Buick. Yep. And you had three parking tickets. Yes. All right. The three parking tickets from six years ago were going to cost you fifty dollars. Thank you. And what do you want to tell me about these more recent tickets? Oh man, they're just unfortunate. Oh well, man, is that what you want to tell me? <laughs> Hey, man, I don't know about these three parking tickets. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm, I mean, bad luck. I parked bad the luck. I, yeah. <sighs> Four I times, Inspector Quinn. <laughs> That's terrible luck. Four times bad <laughs> luck, right? Yeah, comes All in right. fours. But <laughs> I mean, she was already parked in the travel lane. That's bad luck, Inspector Quinn. In the street? And she parked in a tow zone. That's real bad luck. Then that nasty parking meter expired. Right. Mike, can I you believe that? Know. You would think they'd give you more time. Serious. And then there's another sign saying you can't park here. Imagine that she parked there. It's the city traffic engineer's fault. It's a, I know, it's too many signs. So what do you want to tell me about any of these things? Well, the, the most recent one was just taking my brother out for a drink at the hot club. We parked in like a line oh, of- Contributing to the delinquency of your brother. Yes, he was in the Air Force, so I had to take the edge off. He was home for a week, so we went out. We were out there for like an hour and came back, and me and everybody else, I think, had a nice ticket on the windshield. Well, it's going to cost you $30 for each one of those tickets. That sounds fair. Actually, it's going to cost you 25 for each one. It's going to cost you $100 in total. Thank you. And 50 for the previous tickets. Mm -hmm. So it's $150, Nadine. Good luck to you. Thank you. It's better than it was. <laughs> New Year Coke. Good morning. Okay. How are you this morning? Okay. You've been here a long time. Only like two hours. Okay. It wasn't bad. <laughs> wasn't bad? No. It went by faster than I thought. Did you learn anything? Actually, yeah, I was really nervous to come here, but actually I was very comfortable. Why are you comfortable? You. Me? <laughs> I made you comfortable. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, there was fun. it was funny. Like, a, Just check some it. jokes in there. It's funny what? There were some jokes. It was funny. Inspector Quinn's funny. I know he's funny. <laughs> he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy, you know. Well, you know, let me ask you questions. <clears throat> How many times have you been in court? Zero. This is your first time in court? Yes. And that's the answer to the question, particularly with young people, youngsters. Sorry, I'm just like really nervous. So I'm... Just relax. <laughs> just relax. <laughs> the court, court can be a very intimidating experience for people. See, like you're, you're nervous, but there's no reason for you to be nervous. Because I, tr <laughs> I try to make it pleasurable for people so that they... So they don't get nervous. So take a deep breath, because I have great news for you. But I won't, get, you, I won't give you the great news unless I see a smile. Okay, good. Now I'm going to give you the great news. Here's the great news. Okay. You were charged with speeding one mile over the chargeable offense. Yes. And it's a category of cases that I routinely dismiss. So I'm dismissing your case. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. Have a good day. I was pleased to hear that I was able to make this young lady feel comfortable. That's my goal. For 90% of the people who are seated before me, this will be their only experience with the judicial system. Court can be a pretty intimidating experience, especially for young people. So that's why I try to inject some levity into the proceedings. I want people to leave court with the feeling that their government really is of the people, by the people, and for the people and cares about them.